God, if only I had somebody to show me around Beverly Hills and go and look at all these celebrity houses. Ah, uh, you my Uber? I'm your uh, your star tour concierge guide and anything else you'd like me to be for the afternoon. Perfect. I mean, I called Uber Black, but I guess this will do. It's so black. We'll see. All right, make sure the feet are clean. And there we go. Thanks, sir. You're very welcome. How Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thanks. It's a little bit chilly today. Okay. Okay. So shall we roll? Yeah. Where uh, where are we going? Wherever you like. What's... You're in charge of the map. Okay. Uh, Be very careful with it. It was expensive. It was twenty-five dollars. Wow. That's a lot for a little, little map. Let's right? go. Let's go and find these people. It's upside down. Where Where are these guys? Girls. These girls, not these girls. Guys is a universal statement nowadays. It's politically incorrect to. Oh, we can't assume gender. No, you can't. It's a, it's a person. It's a person. person in a bikini. There we go. Where are these bikini people? All right. Perfect. There Sorry. we go. Where are we going? We are here. There. Okay. Um, so each one of these little green numbers is somebody's house. It's somebody's house. Yeah. Maybe it's Rob Reiner's son, daughter, or relation. That would be a Lambo. Sounds good. Noisy thing. Should get arrested. Okay. So right. how do we do this then? Should you tell we... me. You're in charge. All right. I'm just the driver. I'm the chauffeur. I'm even wearing my chauffeur's hat. You like my hat, guys? Yeah. Isn't it nice? Okay, let's have a look. Who can we find? Are you there? warm enough with short sleeves? Yeah, I'll, I'll put my, my heated seat on. This okay, car has okay. those, it right? It does, yes, it does. Beautiful. You are now heated. Perfect. Uh, Christina Aguilera. Ah, uh, she used to live there. Yeah, Not we don't anymore. want that. We want people that actually live there. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. What well, we should do Bell a route. We should actually just drive up and down the roads. Should we do the shops? Yeah, let's, let's do, do the shops. Let's do the shops and While then we'll you're decide. figuring that out, I will in fact cruise us down Rodeo and we'll have a little peek at the shops. Sounds good. There might be debris all over the roads because today in Los Angeles it's the LA Marathon. And oh, is that today? Yeah, well, it was. I mean, it probably still is. In fact, I know it still is. But all of these streets were closed, and okay. there were signs everywhere that do not enter here, do not do that, because there's how fast did you do it in? Twenty-four thousand people. How have, fast did you do it in? I, I did it so fast, nobody even knew I passed it. Yeah, you just did it this right? morning. Yeah, cool. That's a cool hat. Thank you very much. Cool helmet. Yeah, there we go. Right. Thank you for taking care of us in this wonderful city that we live in. No problem. Am I? On, are you taking pictures or am I on video? Video. <laughs> <laughs> there's my man. What's your name? My name's Officer Dibble. Officer yeah. Dibble. I'm a huge supporter of the Beverly Hills Police Department. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that big time. We love all the support we can get. We know a lot of you guys. Uh, talk to Sergeant Myers all the time on Instagram. Oh, you do? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, Great he's guy. A good guy. Great guy. Where are you guys off to today? We're doing a little tour for everybody of Beverly Hills, a beautiful city that we live in. Nice. And a uh, huge thank you to guys like yourself. Awesome. Well, enjoy. Thank you. All right, you guys. Take care of yourself. And yourself. All right. Coolest police department on the planet. Now here's a little bit of uh, trivia for you. The average response time, and I don't know how this is possible, you guys can Google it. The average response time for a police call to Beverly Hills PD, excuse the Lamborghini for a second, is 46 seconds. They have police absolutely everywhere, plain clothes, it's the most secure city they say of all cities. Every single entry and every store is recorded. There are I think 3,200 and something cameras across all the streets, all the residential streets are cameraed. Um, it's amazing, it's absolutely amazing and uh, it's a privilege to live here. So. so look, that's what we could have done, we could have gone on the TMZ tour. So what do you know about Rodeo Drive? There's some very expensive shops, uh, lots of tourists. Fortunately, today is very, very quiet because, like I said, it was the LA Marathon and this street was closed for five hours. So I'm assuming many people didn't come today, but uh, it'll be pretty to look at. And we also have some clouds, which is a very, very rare thing for California, Southern California. We've had rain last week. I think it rained two days, which is shocking. I was going to say, the weather's been awful. Yeah, I didn't know what it was when I saw it. I was like, what's this wet stuff? <laughs> Okay, so uh, here we are. This is really the entrance to what is considered one of the best shopping streets in the world. Well, I don't know if it's the best, it's certainly the most expensive. There's everybody who's anybody on the street. 
That's what are some, some of your favourite brands down chores. here? Well, my, one of my favourite brands is uh, Cavalli. A lot of my clothes are Cavalli, and they're, they're just down here on the left-hand side. And then, of course, you have all the iconic brands, Gucci, uh, Dior, Yves Saint Laurent, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, etc., etc., etc. And just about every major watch manufacturer has a boutique on this store. Uh, store, what am I saying? On this street, which is uh, very convenient, I would say. Bulgari. Cartier here. And if you look on top of the roof of Cartier, you'll see there's an umbrella. You don't really see a whole lot, but many of these boutiques have a rooftop. Um, like party area, which is pretty fun. Chanel, of course, an iconic brand. There's Cavalli. Fabulous clothing, very avant-garde, a little bit wild. There's another store called Etro, as we passed the Rolex and Patek Philippe. Um, but Etro is another store that has some very fun clothing that I like. And, of course, the ice cream truck. <laughs> Gotta have the ice cream truck. I'm not quite sure what it's doing or where it's going. Yeah. But you promised me, and it'll last about five minutes before I uh, find Beverly Hills PD and move them away. <laughs> but they'll probably sell two ice creams in the interim. Nice 430 Spider. They've aged very nicely. Yeah, that they? car still looks current. Whereas the 360, not so much. Yeah. Although I think if you put newer wheels on the 360, they, they still look pretty good. The, the older wheels on them kind of date them a little and bit. And it's also the big fat headlights that they have. Yeah. 90% of cars nowadays have got the thin yeah. uh, xenon headlights or LED. And of course, Dolce & Gabbana, Valentino, Ortega Veneta. I don't think I pronounced that properly, but there you go. We'll wave to Peter as we go by. Let's do that. He is right up there. Very famous store here on the left, uh, Harry Winston, uh, iconic diamond store. And there is Via Rodeo on the left. And we're very thankful for the guy that just blew the red light. <laughs> There's another Lambo. No shortage of those in this town. There's a nice F12 over there, you might want to get that. Mm. Beautiful thing about Beverly Hills, it's just supercar after supercar. Love that. That's if you like supercars. Oh, they're okay, aren't they? They're okay. Yeah, there it is. Let's see. And now there's people in the way, but we can deal with the people. What's that license plate? CBRR01. What do you think of the new, uh, is it the 812 Superfast? I like it. I actually got to drive one of, uh, was it four or five days ago. Did you? Yeah. Blisteringly fast. <laughs> Blisteringly fast. Would you get one? Um, I don't think so. Why not? It's just not really. It doesn't do that much for me. Maybe, maybe it'll grow on me. But it looks a little bit sedanish. Okay. But it is a beautiful car. We are now on Beverly Boulevard, which runs parallel to Rodeo. Uh, just did a little snip here. This is MGM. Uh, MGM Properties, very famous, iconic brand. They own Caesar's Palace and, of course, the MGM and movies and all the rest of it. There's many streets that run parallel that have some great, great stores and restaurants on them. Boulmiche, I don't know if anybody knows the name of that, but Boulmiche was famous from Pretty Woman. That's the, uh, the store that Julia Roberts gets thrown out of. Oh, she, the one. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty much enough of the stores. Let's go have a look at some of the the houses and celebrities where they live. This entire area is just beautiful. Um, the houses are insane. That one at the top there, I don't know if you can see it from where you are. It's very unusual. They call it the glass house. So here on the, the hill is the Greystone Mansion, which is a beautiful mansion here in Beverly Hills. It's iconic. Mark has a huge history to it, and I will tell you what that history is, except I don't know. This is one of the gates. It says Greystone. And it's privately owned? It is uh, a park, and it is privately owned. It is now there's a park area which is open to the public, and then they have special events there now and again. So approaching on the left-hand side is Dr. Phil's house. And that is 
this house here very picturesque Mediterranean there we go a lot of psychology goes on in that house <laughs> Five one eight eight five one still five one eight east is five one four here we go so apparently that's Christina Aguilera but probably not <laughs> judging by the uh, open mailbox and this is the back out gate to it yep. So what would you say was the average house price around here? Uh, Beverly Hills is probably about $2,500 to $3,000 per square foot. And the average house is about 7,000, 8,000 square feet. Uh, and they go all the way up to 30 and 40,000 square feet. So um, without doing the math, probably 10 million, 12 million dollars. Average. Yeah, if you take out, you know, condos and, and the smaller properties, yeah, I would say 10, 12 million um, average. Some are 100 million, wow. some are more. That's insane. I know, it's not a cheap area. Have they finished the... Uh... That's a pretty car, the new Aston. It is a pretty car. Yeah, the EB11. Pretty car. Have they finished the $500 million house yet? No, they're still working. It's probably another two years away. Just driving around here, and I, I know I live here, but it's so beautiful just looking at the scenery here. It, it really is, never take it for granted. Okay, so here we are, uh, very close to the Beckham's house, which you can see on the top of the hill here. So, this is now the gate to the Beckham's, and it's a long driveway up there. And I'm going to take us for a view of the house where you can actually see the house and not the gate. 11.52 11.54 Here, this one. So this house here is Avril Levine's. A beautiful house hidden away behind the trees and everything in glimpse of this second gate. Not really, but there we go. Uh, that is Avril Levine's, and everybody lives kind of close together, so we don't have to drive very far to show you lots of houses. What's uh, what's that little guy you got on there? What are you looking at? Not the hat, the watch. Oh, the watch. Uh, this is a, a new new acquisition I made last week. It is a uh, Audemars. Uh, offshore but it's the big one it's the 44 millimeter and uh, it has a full diamond case baguettes on the bezel and the dial and I'm very proud of it and since I bought it I haven't taken it off my wrist which is about four days now so I guess tomorrow it needs, to, needs to go in the bank and I'll get something else but yeah that's beautiful. pretty right yeah really nice the landscaping's just so beautiful isn't it gorgeous house could be up here on the left. I very nearly bought it. Where the it? I guess they put trees behind it. I didn't recognise it. We flew past it. Never huh. mind. Hey! Oh. This is where Jay Lennon lives too. Oh yeah? So this is the, the Beckham's house there. Um, So this, this here is Leno's housekeeper's house. And then here on the left is Leno's house. That's his gate. And there's some more to his property. Oh my word, what's that? I've never seen that before. What is that? A greenhouse? That's the strangest thing. Yeah. Proceed to next gate. All right, let's proceed to next gate and see what we actually find at the next gate. Where is the next gate? Three miles away. <laughs> Not sure what this is. I've never seen it before. Where's the next gate? That's quite palatial. That's 
so pug and it was stuck. shame we weren't filming, but uh, David Beckham's son, I'm not quite sure of his name. I think it's Brooklyn. Is it Brooklyn? I think that one, that was Brooklyn, Just yeah. passed us in his M4 convertible, looking very chill. There's somebody very famous that lives in this house, and I have no idea who it is, because the, the tour buses stop here all the time. There's a nice white Rolls Royce in the driveway. Nice, look at that. That is exceptional. What was that? That was uh, an old Honda Civic. Oh, it's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. They make good cars. Apparently they last forever. The way that thing was blowing blue smoke, I don't expect that one to last forever. That was about a hundred years old. <laughs> that would be a fun toy to have, wouldn't it? It would. I would love a helicopter. I've tried flying helicopters and uh, I didn't do very well with them. It defied gravity, it defied everything I had ever learned about flying fixed wing. So I have six hours of instruction in a helicopter and then I gave up. <laughs> when you give it power, it should screw itself into the ground, but it flies. And I don't quite understand how it flies, but it flies. So it is man's triumph over physics. Isn't it, it really is. I mean, they're, they're very dangerous. There's old and new, the Mercedes convertibles. BMW, what is that? No, that's just a, like a 328i. See, 318 even. What's a 318? I didn't know they made a 318. It was a 328. So this is Sunset Boulevard where we are now, in the heart of Beverly Hills. Very pretty street, very famous street. Sunset runs all the way from West Hollywood down to the ocean, doesn't it? It does. It goes all the way to downtown, actually. Does it? Yeah. Very long road. And it doesn't all look like this. Once you leave Beverly Hills, it gets a little bit tacky. So now we're heading to uh, have a quick peek at Simon Cowell's house. Uh, he's a really nice guy. I know Simon quite well. And uh, super nice guy. Super nice guy. So well, let's go visit where he lives. See if he'll let us in for a cup of tea. Yeah, let's go knock on the door. Oh, they're very cool. It's very English looking, isn't it? Yeah, look at the doggies. Double, are they his? Yes, those are his. He does love his dog, doesn't he? He does love his dog. <laughs> look at that one. It's like a dog walker. He loves the fence. Yeah, it's very cool, isn't it? Very, very cool. Some of his cars with wraps on. Yeah. He has a Bugatti, actually. Does he? Yes. Oh, look at this one as well. That is a big old surveillance camera. Yep. Well, every house has surveillance cameras. Oh, that thing's got a cannon. Believe it or not, here's a little bit more trivia for you. In Beverly Hills, it is obligatory to have four road cameras so that you can see every single car and every person that approaches every house. I actually have 18 cameras on my house, believe it or not. 18 cameras. Wow. Um, and it, they all hook up directly to the police department, the security department, and also um, the insurance companies insist on it because you know there's a lot of you know big houses here. And uh, like I said before, 46 seconds, I believe the response time is. And the, the, all of these roads, they're pretty much one way in, one way out. So if somebody does commit a crime they're caught. I mean, it's a very foolish thing to do to try and break into a house in this town because I don't think they've ever, anybody's ever got away with it. There was a, an attempted robbery in one of the stores uh, in Beverly Hills and they were literally in the store, I think, 13 or 14 seconds and as they came out of the store, they were arrested. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. On the right-hand side at this next stop sign, if you point the camera to the right, you'll see the very famous Beverly Hills building and don't miss it, it's enormous. There it is with the green awnings. That's the 
swing by the front of that and then you get to see the entryway. We'll drive through it in fact. Why not I say? 458 Spider. Looking good. So we're going to take a little detour. I'm just going to drive us through the entry of the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm going to get that on the camera. Uh, just so you can see it, because it's an iconic hotel, very, very famous. And uh, you never know who you might see walking out of here, because it is a who's who. And it's very, very beautiful. I've posted many pictures on Instagram of underneath this little awning here because it's super pretty how you doing not staying not staying not staying it's going on ig something like that okay, yeah there we go it might or uh or at least youtube okay <laughs> kind of know me everywhere I go. Even if you wear a disguise? I'm wearing one. This is my in incognito hat. <laughs> Do you like it? I love my crazy hat. Very incognito. Yeah. I almost didn't recognize it's it. Very British. I didn't recognize myself. I put the hat on and I said, who is that? So this is Jackie Chen's house. Uh, over here on the corner. It's Jackie Chen. His house there. And just a little bit further up, we're going to see Double gates, huh? Double gates. This is the back gate to it. Arrived. So this is Tom Cruise's place? Yes, this is Tom Cruise. Wow, look at the size of that. Pretty fun. The amount of wealth is incredible, isn't it? Oh yeah, insane. It's the wealthiest town in the world. Is it really? Yeah. Well, the property taxes in Beverly Hills are so expensive as well, so you don't just think about the house, but the actual property taxes are, are crazy. Crazy. This is one of the prettiest streets. It has the palm trees, both the thick ones and the thin ones, and it's uh, featured in many, many movies. Isn't that pretty? There's many streets like this. It's such an iconic, like, Beverly Hills scene, isn't it? It really is. It, it really is. It's very pretty. It's palm line, that street. I'm going to give you a little bit of trivia about Beverly Hills that not many people know about. Garbage cans are not allowed to be put out on the streets. So every house has access through a back alley. I'm going to drive us through one so that you can see it. I never knew this. Well, aren't you glad I'm giving you I the am. tour with my special tour guide hat? <laughs> Okay, so let's go down an alley. This is where the garbage trucks go, housekeepers and the like. So here we go, let's go in one. And you'll see, here's where all the garbage cans are kept. So it's always very pretty. And garages for the rear and rear entries into the houses. Look at the size of these garbage cans. <laughs> yeah, exclusive to Beverly Hills. <laughs> If you were to look down this road here, it's frightening looking. But these are the backs to the mansions. Somebody has their tour bus in there, you see? Let's see how fast this is from a stop. You want to accelerate? Full ponies from the stop. You in sport mode? I think so. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, 
Wow. That is incredible. That, for a big old tank like this. That yeah, that was uh, four seconds or less. She picks her skirt up and gets That's a wriggle on. Pretty cool, right? Cheer up the tires a little bit as well. Yeah, just burnt them, didn't I? You have to replace them now. I didn't know you could do that. I do have to replace them. <laughs> Once again, thanks for tuning in. Oh, God. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. So Adam told me I have no pizzazz, so this is a pizzazzy extra. Thanks for tuning in. How am I doing, Adam? Great. Okay, cool. Loving I'll it. I'll keep going. Never mind all these loud cars that surround us. Ferraris and Lambos and Porsches, they're, they're everywhere. Look at this little challenge car coming up. Is it a challenge? It is a challenge. Come on, guys. So loud. So All right, loud. let's go. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the little tour of Beverly Hills here. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you like it, and if you don't like it, subscribe anyway. Enter the giveaway. Sorry about the noises in the background. It's all these supercars that drive around here. But um, enter the giveaway, producermichael.com, and put in an address. In the US, if you're overseas, put in your parents' name. I'll let them do it for you if you're under 18, and good luck with the giveaway. We'll see you soon. Cheers.